So here's a simple task. Uh, you might um, remember when you were a kid, and uh, I mean, a small kid, and there is the game that's who can tell the biggest number. And it um, goes like, well, three. Oh, I can know a bigger one, four. And then maybe they get to, you know, ten if they are advanced, or, or a thousand and million. And then eventually someone hits upon the idea is that whatever the others say, I just add one and I'm I'm good. So that's sort of the, the game here. And it's like you start thinking about the problem and okay, good. So at some point I have to to have a function because I'm I will add one. So so I will do this and it's um you know I just add one and I test this function. Okay, that works perfectly. And then I realize that, oh, okay, we already have ink here. So we don't need to write this function. So this, this happens time to time that you write something and it turns out that it's already there. So that, I mean, of course, uh, it's an extreme example. Uh, everyone knows ink. Um, but that's why it makes sense to you know to look around in the core library and know the functions so we have ink and then um then you start um thinking about that okay i i want to to have this function call it f and uh call the input x more on that later and then it's like oh what what exactly um are we are we doing here and then it's like you remember that oh you need to get something um something your max and then then of course uh, you know you have the ideas that um you need to put these together and uh and then um you take the maximum of x, but x is a collection, so often people put um, put it into a collection, and then see what happens. Okay, that's the first problem. So um, that's the naming issue. So now this question is, what is x here? That's a number, and we usually call just a number x. There is no problem with that. Um, that's what we did in school. But calling the um, the argument always x, that's not a good idea, because now x is actually not a number, but a collection of numbers, maybe a list or a vector. So it does make sense to, um, to call it a collection. This is not for the computer, this is for us. That's, that's the human reader. That's a, doing a favor for your future self. Okay, and then then you realize that okay i have um a collection there and it's already a collection so why why did i i put that into a collection into um a vector this is what i call double packaging this happens often when people think about especially in conjunction with the other problem you call it x and it's like oh but x is a collection so somehow i have to to denote that that's probably the instinct and and you put it's collection it's already a bag and you put it into another bag so that's um that's what we uh, want to do here well maybe you know roughly that's a that's a good idea so let's let's try and it's like oh oh what happened here oh yeah it's like it's also surprising for me but javascript is very generous <laughs> and that's uh, it's actually added <laughs> one to the, the vector but okay so that's we don't know what's going on here that's not what we wanted it's like um so you know it's like you may start thinking about what is happening there but since you already have a function and now the function is sort of is is a black box in a sense that the only way to access to the internal parts of the function is just to give it an input and think about the output and whatever happens inside it's a black box I mean, you don't have direct access to it 
and that's you know and it's very difficult uh because sometimes the output result is um sort of collapsing the information maybe it's just a boolean uh value so instead of doing that it's always the advice is to play in the repo and it's just tries to figure out how i can get a the maximum out of a collection and if you do that oh no it's like i remember and i have to use apply and that gives me that and it's okay so now i know how it works i can actually do that and maybe this time it is working better okay yes it does work so what are the common common issues um one is that you may uh, you may re-implement an existing function the other one is that um, you need to give a good name uh, for the function argument, just for the readers. So it's like, you know, uh, programming is about writing instructions to the computer, but those instructions are actually meant to be read by another human being. And that's sort of you are documenting that, ah, this is how I solve this problem. So good names are important. And then um, the third one is that uh, sometimes it happens and to beginners that uh, when when you receive and the function you receive a collection you you want to indicate that that is it is a collection and in closure we don't uh, need to indicate that but you still want to do it so you you put uh, let's say square brackets around it that's double packaging you already have a collection and you put it into a collection and then it doesn't give you the behavior and the fourth one is what I call uh, black boxing when um, you are confident that okay I can write this function quickly and it's you know if it's a very simple function of course you can do it but if if you are not exactly sure how the inside would work then it's just play it in the REPL try to figure out try examples and when you know how the code works then you can write the function definition around it or you can put it into the function so this way you have access uh, to uh, the steps of the computation if it's in a function and you try to figure out what's going on you can only do the input output and it's a lot more difficult to think about that